Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. <sighs> Cause why not? Hmm? Energy is shifting, we're getting closer into July. July feels like an extremely auspicious month. Uh, feels like a month that could be filled with magic and serendipity and destiny and fate and fortune. We're going to use the pink potion deck, give ceremony, and hypnotized. You know what's crazy is as soon as I saw these two cards, I saw in my head, that's my wife. That's my husband. That's my wife. Somebody might look at you or you look at somebody and it's almost instant recognition of being at your wedding. Be seeing them at the end of the aisle and you walking down the aisle or them seeing you and being like, oh my God, that's my wife. I can see her in the wedding dress. I just know it. That's the love of my life. It's almost instant recognition and it's also really hypnotizing of, oh my God, it's like tunnel vision. I think that for some of you, it's someone brand new completely, right? You meet someone brand new, they meet you, you guys never met before and it's this instant recognition. But for some of you, it can be this, this process that has been going on and one day all of a sudden it's just like, oh my God. Like when someone's hypnotized, they're just like, ah, doo -doo -doo -doo, and then all of a sudden, three, two, one, boom, and they're like, you know what I mean? That's my wife. That's my husband. That's my wife. That's my person. Icing on top. It's even better than they would have ever thought. They could, you could have never imagined or dreamed this. Right? Let's say you had a, a vision in your head of what you thought your spouse was going to end up being. Oh, the person I'm going to marry is going to be this, blah, 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 blah. It's better than you could have ever in your, in, in a million zillion years, you could have ever imagined. This trumps everything. It's beyond. It's beyond. They're even more delicious than you were expecting. They're, mu they're much more everything than you were expecting and vice versa. I feel like you guys weren't expecting each other. Some of you, it's a friendship thing too. It starts off as friends. I can't be with nobody that's not my friend first because if we can't even be friends, how the fuck we're gonna be lovers and be in a relationship? No. Could this be two friends and, and it's a friendly casual thing or a coworker thing and all of a sudden one day someone just goes, holy shit. That's my fucking spouse. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. You got a friend in me. How am I feeling that energy of you got a friend in me? It's very when Harry met Sally. Lush. I feel like they think your body, your, your lips, your hair, everything about you is just, it's lush and it's full and it's supple. It's just very, oh my God, voluptuous for some of you. Pampered. I feel like some of you are a little bit on the spoiled side. With the Capricorn moon, I am on the spoiled side. Um, you're very pampered. You like to be pampered. You know what you deserve. Now oh, this is the feminine. You know what you deserve. Like, hey, I deserve this and I want I want this. I treat myself really well. I take care of myself. Period. Period. Girl power, empowerment. Yeah, this is a bitch who knows what she's worth. 111%. And they know it too. Oh, hell no. Communication. I'll, I'm not going to pick it up now. I'll pick it up and show it to you guys in the freaking extended on Patreon. I'm not getting up. I sat down already. <laughs> It's one of them days, honey. TMI, but I'm getting up here at any second. I'm exhausted. Thank you very much. If, on God, it's communication, okay? I, again, I will show it to you in the extended. I'll stand up then, take a stretch. Fantasizing. Yes. Yes. It was all a dream. Did they fucking dream this? Did they dream that you guys got married? Did they dream that they saw you in, in, in your wedding dress? It was all a dream. 
I think I dreamed you into life. Holy shit balls. I knew I loved you before I met you. I think I dreamed you into life. Look at that. Like, it's like literally fucking fairy tale what they feel. It's whimsical. It's fucking cor unicorns and rainbows. It's like this vibration of every single thing they've always wanted that they didn't know that they fucking wanted. You know what I mean? It's you. Four of Swords, Wow, the Hermit, the World. Some of you have come full circle on healing. You can see here the Four of Swords is her healing, right? Healing heart chakra shit, right? There's a heart right there. Crack is how the light gets in. Did a lot of work on that heart chakra. And there's the Hermit. Look at her. She's, she's enlightened. She's filled with light. She's enlightened. She's gone through the spiritual journey. She's gone through her healing process, right? But also, this is the energy of her just really glowing in the dark. They'd be able to find you even if they couldn't see. They'd be able to feel you. They would know you in a crowded room even if they weren't able to see. They just would know it's you. It's like this energy of uh, they know it. Also symbolically, right? This is coming full circle and, and healing. A healing circle. This is also coming full circle and healing. Um, there's a really strong energy coming through of, I'll look at that, in reverse. Upright. She's like, get the fuck out of here. I'm not open. I'm not vulnerable. There's a vulnerability here between the two of you. Or it's a moment of vulnerability. Somebody heals enough to not be triggered, okay? Somebody here heals enough or or, or they let somebody go. But also, I kind of think it's, it's an enlightenment. The higher up they go, the more they're able to trust their gut on who they can trust. There it is, two fucking cups, told you. I fucking told you, this is, this is it. Oh, I finally found someone, someone to share my life. I have a feeling they may have, they either number one didn't see it before. So this means brand new. They've never seen this before. I've never seen, I've never felt this way. I've never seen this before. And looked at someone and said, I was my fucking wife. They've never had this. It's a, it's a once, it's, it's this is like, oh my God, I, this has never happened before. If it's brand new. Now, if this is someone that you've already had a ongoing, however type of connection, meaning you already know them as your coworker, it's your friend, it's your friend's friend, it's your fr I don't know how the fuck it's gonna work. There's a moment that shifts their entire, the axis of their entire world and universe shifts as they crack open and enlighten and they see someone very differently, they see you differently. And when they see you differently, it's like their entire universe crumbles on top of them. It combusts. And it's as if everything they thought they've ever known about life and love and of self goes out the fucking window. It is all crushed and, and destroyed in this one moment of absolute recognition of this is the one. And the reason that I feel it's so fucking profound is because some of you, it's been right in front of them the whole fucking time. And for some of them, it's because it finally actually happened and they finally met the person. You finally meet and you're like, it really did just happen. And we've read about it and we've prophesied it and we've talked about it and we've been whatever. And it's like, it finally happens and you're like, holy motherfuck, it really did happen. I met somebody. And you're like, oh my God, you fucking did. All the muggles are always meeting people, right? Because they're lower vibrational. So there's many of them to choose from. The higher up we go, it's quite rare. It's hard for us to relate to people because they're not on the same frequency as us. Self-care, I told you, it's a pampering. Taking care of yourself. Sleeping in, eating better, going on trips. This is also mental health, right? It's, it's body, mind, soul. It's like goddess energy too. 
wearing your perfumes, doing your hair, getting yourself, you know, kind of primmed. And it's not about that it's about looks because people have this so fucked up. They think that just because we love ourselves that we cannot show that we love ourselves or that we have to wear no makeup and be extreme about this and be plain Jane and not do any of these things. And that's not the point. The point here is that we love each, uh, we love ourselves so much on the inside. And whether I have no makeup on or not, or whatever this is, I do things for me. If I wear makeup, it's for me. If I want it, it's for me, because I love me. And that's this whole thing about not doing it for other people, it's doing it for me, I love me. And the self-care thing, it almost feels like the more you're kind of self-caring on yourself, the closer you're getting to this connection for some reason. Maybe you meet them like that when you're at the fucking spa. The hell was that? Holy shit, an unexpected arrival. What is this? Release. Someone ha Someone's getting the boot. <laughs> Sorry, that's not very funny, but it is. Someone gets the boot. It's just the way they said it that was funny to me. Not that getting the boot is funny. Good news. Um, someone gets the boot. Someone, someone's going to get a second or a third chance and they're going to fuck it up again. That's the one that's getting the boot. They're going to see it. Oh my God. And then they fuck it up because they just don't rise up to the occasion. They don't let the light infiltrate. They're scared of the light. They're scared of what this is or their fear of unknown or they're fearful of success. It's a very self-sabotory energy. It's unexpected. Remember, we have communication down there still. I'll show it to you in the extended. Sudden change and walking away. I told you someone gets a fucking boat. But the sudden change is exactly what I felt. It felt like one day all of a sudden it's like they're hypnotized. Oh my fucking God. Yep. Twin flame. Yeah. Yeah. A strange fucking connection or all of a sudden, it's almost like there's a weird surprise or like it's like a fucking shock it's like the hierophant five of pentacles in reverse look at that the door fucking opens the door opens look at that that's my wife that's my husband the hierophant it's recognition this is all about fucking recognition. The star. I see it now. I know it's destined. I know it's faded. I can also be Harvin's Taurus. The star is Aquarius. It's like I see it now. It's it's written in the stars. Oh my God, I get it. It's so obvious, you know. Um, the star can also be about the card of healing. The more someone here healed their heart, the more they healed this five of pentacles energy, the more this opens them up to this higher vibrational opportunity. But again, it's recognition, eight of pentacles. There's something with work. Oh my God, the hermit in fucking reverse. I've never had so many in reverse cards in my life. And I don't take reversals unless they tell me. Hidden, searching, finally found someone. The sun, a fucking reveal. The sun is a fucking reveal. Moon is secrets and hidden. A fucking reveal. The sun. I see it now. It's been revealed. We met. Oh my God. What we also, but we've known each other forever and now it's finally revealed. It's a secret. It's revealed. Oh my God. It came out. Oh my God. It's also enlightenment. The sun. Enlightenment. Someone sees the light now. They get it. Oh my God, if I can tell they see it, I get it. Oh my God. Five of Cups, that's loss. They feel fucking sad about something that didn't happen. 
eight of cups and they have to let it go and walk away you or them somebody's got to let the fuck it just let it go honey let it go it's over it's done let it go you have the queen of wands passion judgment final decision it's like the queen of wands is power as well too it's like she's not going to stick around and wait for nothing she's not going to wait to be chosen with judgment she says i choose me and i'm walking i'm going i know there's love out there for me i know there's magic july is going to be a very empowering month we had empowerment earlier a very empowering month because we're saying we love ourselves so much that we've been hiding in the dark for a lot of feminines, right? Divine feminines. And this is why a lot of divine feminines now are coming out there and are starting to date and open to the idea. And these men out there are shocked. Like, who the fuck are these bitches? Because they've been entertaining people that didn't go through the journey, that refused to, to crack open to this extent, right? They're used to, again, muggles. Not everybody's going to awaken. Not everybody is called to judgment. Not everybody hears the call. So they've been entertaining other people because they're low vibe. You're, they're other people are low vibe. Everybody's low vibe and they're entertaining all this stuff. And it's like now they meet you and they're going, what the fuck is this? Or they hit this frequency now all of a sudden, right? They hear the call. They answer the call. They rise up and it's like, I see it now. This is it. The page of swords. Someone's spying and watching. Could be a younger air sign, right? But someone's spying and watching. And here you have the two of cups, as we fucking said, nine of cups, wish fulfillment. It's everything I've ever wanted. It's everything I've ever wanted. These two people couldn't be any more different. This is yin and yang. This is sun and moon. I have a mean feeling these people are very different and not each other's usual type and not in a bad fucking way. Not in a bad way. In a way of just like, I don't usually go for older. But my man's older than me by 5, 10 years. I don't usually go for younger. My man is 5, 10 years younger than me. I don't usually go for people that are a bit rebellious and independent like that and kind of free-spirited, but he is. I like someone very structured and business-like and very practical and logical. And they're just not. I, you see what I'm saying? It's like I, I think it's going to be quite different for each person. But I'm telling you, be, be ready for July. June is this opening of it. It's like the it's like the opening ceremony. You know, like how we're in the fucking Olympics. I don't know why Olympics is coming up right now. The Greek gods and shit, man. I don't know. You know, we joke about we only want God. We like motherfuckers, right? And so maybe the gods are awakening. Okay, fucking Apollo, <laughs> Aries, <laughs> freaking. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Zeus. Um. <laughs> It's the opening ceremony. We did have ceremony earlier, didn't we, too? Opening ceremony. Let's the games begin. Remember, we're going to do an extended, but the only place you can watch it is on my Patreon. Click that upside down triangle below. My link to my website's there. Um, on my website, you can pre-order products, but I think only thing available is my Hail Mary pre-order candles. Um... And also on my main page of my website is tickets to my next Zoom event. It's a Witch's Brew on July 10th. It's a networking event. We all just talk stories on Zoom. It's really fun. It's amazing. I, I used to do them all the time. I love them. I pull cards for you guys. We just talk stories and have fun for hours on there. You guys can connect, swap info, right? Uh, meet other like-minded individuals. Uh, that Those tickets are on sale. And then also the Patreon link is below. It's a second link. And again, that's the only place you can watch this. It's big bang for your buck. You pay one set price every month and you get access to all of the extendeds from the collectives, oh, only the collectives. Then you have timeless erotic readings there, tons of them, and some that are not erotic. Okay, so yeah, big bang for your buck there. But let's go ahead and get into that. Thank you guys again so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. And I'll see you there. Love you.